on guys, Jimmy with Michael Biogro, coming back at you. A um, <laughs> little bit of weather here, like I was saying. Um, but uh, we just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, compost and stuff, and just kind of go over a couple of things that uh, the rain could kind of help demonstrate. So what I want to talk about is uh, when you're going to the store and you're buying compost from a garden center, or uh, you know, distributor, whatever. Uh, these people need to be storing this stuff inside or under some sort of cover to have the compost bags laying out in their, you know, in in, in their yard or whatever, or the nursery. You know, they lay them out there and then just leave them up under the weather. But what happens is you're creating a situation where you can be uh, growing fungus gnats and bad guy stuff, you know? So, um, I've tried to go around and start like, you know, I try and talk to some of these companies, these nurseries and whoever, and they like kind of give me the brush off like I'm, I'm a landscaper and you know, I don't, so I'm trying to do this video to help demonstrate that uh, this stuff, if you're get, letting it get soaked, if you let it sit out here, it's gonna get soaked now. It's like heavily, you know, too much water. You're not like monitoring the water content. Um, you know, so that's a, that's a problem. That's a problem when you're a consumer. When you go there, ask these guys, do you know that you're supposed to be keeping that underneath the cover? They didn't even want to talk to me. I went to that place in uh, green farms or whatever and I've been to some other ones and like twice I've tried to talk to them nothing so and they're spraying chemicals everywhere so I don't know like I, you know this stuff uh, you know I'm just a little company with me and people but uh, it's obvious that like you know unless the con you guys unless you care about this stuff and start asking some questions how come you're not keeping that underneath there it gets wet, it dries out, it gets wet, it dries out, and you're getting these big problems. These companies, I think some of them don't even know, but um, you know, it's something that uh, you as a consumer, you're buying $20 bags of like, you know, bad compost that's been left out, and now you go home with fungus gnat problem, now you're online searching for how to fix fungus gnat. Um, this is one hell of a storm, so I hope it makes a great shot. We, uh, we obviously cover our stuff the best you can, and that's at least, you know, these piles are are working, actually. So I'm not leaving finished stored piles out in the elements like this. If you're doing that, or you see, or you go to your local garden center and they are doing that, say something, because you're going home and you're paying for that. So I just feel like, uh, you know, I appreciate it if your niche nursery stopped giving me the brush off because I kind of want to do the video there and say, look, this is why you have this problem. You know, you go home, now you're online looking for some sort of bottle or something, you got to spray on it. It's all starting here. So um, that's what I hope, uh, you know, I hope that kind of gets the message across that, you know, please cover this stuff. Don't just leave the pallet out in the yard. It's not, you're not helping anybody. You're not helping, you know, I talked to that lobster farm place I, call, I emailed them myself and I said ultimately they're not responsible for you know what people do with the product once they buy it but some of these places maybe don't know so uh, that they're not supposed to be doing it like that I mean at least the tarp somehow covered and you don't need to be completely covering these things in plastic either if you're completely covering them in plastic what happens there's no oxygen anymore and your products that you guys are making and sending down from the coast of Maine, let's say. You know, you're making these products and now I'm not saying to wrap them in plastic and lose all the oxygen. Aerobic organisms need the oxygen. So, you know, it's just a video please to the nurseries, to the consumers of these nurseries, to the garden stores. Cover this stuff, you know? Any kind of material you're laying out there to this just is not helping anyone. And the product that I'm buying, I'm really annoyed, and you should be too. That when you go home and you're spending $20 a bag, you're paying for these actinobacteria, which it's rife with, 
and you're paying for fungus gnat problems. So, you know, tell your local guy, knock that stuff off. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. This is with Jimmy with Microbiogro coming at you again. And, uh, you know, hang in there. Stay with us. Thanks.